In this video, we're going to talk about Power Query. Now, I've been working with finance teams for over 10 years on their analytics, and the problems are always the same. There comes a point where data just gets too big for Excel, and then we need another tool. Now, most companies go to Alteryx, which is about five grand a license, but Power Query should have you covered for most of the functionalities. It automates data cleaning, connects to multiple data sources, makes complex Excel functions easy, it's easy to use, it's free, and it's really fast. In this video, we'll be going over this Spotify track data set. It's a huge data set. I think there's about uh, 5 million rows in there. And what we want to find is very simply what artists had the most number ones in the UK in the period from 2014 to 2022. So this is the CSV. It's 871 megabits. If I try to open this in Excel, it's going to give me an error saying that the data is too large for Excel. So this is 5.7 million rows and about just over a million come into Excel because that's the limitation in Excel. So what we can do instead is we can go to the data ribbon. We can go over to get data is where you get data into Power Query. And there's loads of options here. So there's file, there's database, there's Azure, Power Platform. We'll be going over these in later videos. But what we want is from text CSV because we have a CSV file. I go and find my CSV file and then I get this monitor here. I can either try to load this directly into Excel or I can transform the data in Power Query. And you can take a quick look at the first 200 rows here. So you can load or load to the spreadsheet, but I'm going to go to transform data because this ain't going to fit in my spreadsheet. So now this is the Power Query interface. Now I need to figure out what I want to do. So I know I'm only going to need a couple of columns to get to what I need. So I need the country, I need the position, and I need the artists. So there's a lot of fluff in here. So what I can do simply is I can select some of these columns. I'm just holding control here to select them. I can select the columns that I don't need, and I'm just going to take these out of the data set. So to do that, just go to remove columns, and you just go remove columns, and they're gone. And now I have the date, the country, the position, and the artist. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to filter on the country to just keep in GB. So this is just the GBs, and now I want just the GBs that reach number one. And this will like extremely reduce the volume of the data set. But now I've got this lovely artist thing here where I have multiple artists and they're in quotes and they're in square brackets. So I can use something to get rid of this. So I can go up to replace values. I can replace the square bracket uh, with a space. And I can go and replace the other square bracket with a space. And in later videos, we're going to be going over this in a lot more detail. This is just to show you what's possible. I'm now going to just get rid of the quotes. And now I'm going to split the column by delimiter. And I'm going to split it by the comma. And this will just get me my primary artists out into one column. And it gets my secondary artists out to another column. And I'm not really interested in the secondary artist here. So I can just go and again, remove the column. I'm going to rename the artist here to artist. And I am going to now see what how I'm going to get this into a group. So I can just use group by. I can use a column name of number of number ones. I can go into the aggregation sum. And I can group this by position because everything's number one. I'm just adding up how many number ones you had. And now I can sort this. And now I can just make this greater than uh, a number. So I'm just saying this is greater than two number ones. So three number ones and up, make it into my list. And now I'm going to close and load this to Excel. So just click on close and load here. And now I'm going to see where I want it to come out to Excel. So I want it to come out into a table into the existing workbook. And I want this to come out in a specific cell. I'm going to click off this, press OK. And now it's getting data and it's loading data from Power Query. I'm speeding things up a bit. This takes a little while. But now I've got my number ones list for my data set. And this is only 57 rows. So I've reduced down 5 million rows to 57 rows. I can go back in and change. This, if I want people with greater than one number one instead of two number ones, press OK, come back outside, 
into my close and load and this will update the data set and now I've got 65 rows. So this is a really simple example, but you can see how easy this is. And the file that comes out at the end is 20 kilobits, so a really manageable size. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel for more Power Query, and we'll see you next time where we're gonna delve into this a bit deeper.